Graphically, we can use vertical line test to determine a function. By drawing a vertical line parallel to the y-axis across the graph, if the line cuts the graph at exactly one point, then the graph is a function. So, but if the line cuts the graph at more than one point, then the graph is not a function. So now let's look at example 3. So use vertical line test to show that the following graphs are function or not. So let's look at the first one. So you can see this, this is the graph and this is the vertical line that we draw. So from this drawing, we notice that it cuts at only one point. So this graph shows that it is a function. It is a function because it, the vertical line test show that it cuts at only one point here. But for the second graph, so by drawing the vertical line test, we'll see two cuts. So it means that this is not, not a function. This is not a function. For one-to-one -one function, so it can be tested by using algebraic approach or you can use graphical approach. For algebraic approach, a function f is 1 to 1 if fx1 equal to fx2 implies that x1 equal to x2. By graphical approach, we use horizontal line test. So in general, if any horizontal line drawn intersects the graph of the function only at one point, so the function is 1 to 1 function. So let's look at this example. Determine whether the following functions are one-to-one -one by using algebraic approach. So we can consider, so we can let fx1 equal to fx2. So from here we can, uh, we can substitute x1 into the function. So we have 3x1. Minus 2 is equal to 3 x 2 minus 2. So we can cancel off negative 2 and negative 2. And then we have 3 also we can cancel off. So we can get x 1 is equal to x 2. So what can we say about this? So as a conclusion, since f x 1 equal to f x 2, so implies implies x1 equal to x2 so therefore we can say that fx is 1 to 1 function let's see if gx equal to x squared plus 1 is a function or is a 1 to 1 function or not so you can let g x1 equal to g x2 so from here you can write x1 squared plus 1 equal to x2 squared plus 1 so 1 and 1 can be cancelled off so from here you can shift x2 to the left hand side so you have x1 squared minus x2 squared is equal to 0. So you can factorize this. So you get x1 plus x2 is times x1 minus x2 is equal to 0. So from this you can get x1 is equal to x2 or x1 also can be equal to negative x2. So as a conclusion, so since, since fx1 Sorry, since g x1 equal to g x2 does not does not implies 
does not imply x1 equal to x2. So therefore, we can say that the function g is not is not one is not one to one function. Is that clear? So now let's look at another one, another function. So h x equal to x cubed minus eight. So same as before, you just let x h x one equal to h x2. Substitute x1 and x2 into the function. Then you will get x1 q minus 8 equal to x2 q minus 8. So you can simplify by take out negative 8 and then you get x1 q is equal to x2 q. So therefore, you can get x1 is actually equal to x2. So since since h x1 equal to h x2 implies implies x1 equal to x2. So therefore, h the function h is one to one function. Now let's look at this function. This time you have modulus function. So we do the same. So you have to let fx1 equal to fx2. So you have you'll get modulus x1 minus 1 minus 2 equal to modulus x2 minus 1 minus 2. So you simplify this, then you'll get modulus x1 minus 1 equal to modulus x2 minus 1. So you square both sides, then you'll get, you'll get x1 minus 1 squared is equal to x2 minus 1 squared. So you have to expand this one, you'll get x1 x1 squared minus 2x1 minus 1. Then you will get then you will get x1 Then you will get x. Then you will get x one squared minus two x one minus plus one. Sorry, plus one equal to x two squared minus two x two plus 1. So you simplify this by bring all the terms at the right hand side to the left hand side. Then you'll get x1 squared minus x2 squared minus 2x1 plus 2x2 is equal to 0. You can factorize this x1 x1 squared minus x2 squared so this is 1 and then take out 2 so you have 2 and then x1 minus x2 equal to 0 you have to factorize x1 squared minus x2 squared as x1 minus x2 and multiply by x1 plus x2 minus 2 x1 minus x2 equal to 0. You can factorize by taking out x1 minus x2. So you have x1 minus x2 and then you open big bracket. So inside is x1 plus x2 and then minus 2 equal to 0. So close the big bracket. So from here you will get x1 
x1 is equal to x2 or you can have x1 is equal to 2 minus x2. Since fx1 equal to fx2 does not imply x1 equal to x2, therefore x fx is not one-to-one -one function. If vertical line test is used to determine a function, so now let's look at what a horizontal line test. So horizontal line test is a drawing of horizontal line across the graph. So if the graph line cuts the graph at exactly one point, then the graph is one-to-one -one function. So you can see from this drawing, so we have a, a graph and we draw at a horizontal line, then it cuts at only one point. So this is one-to-one -one function graph. So if the line cuts the graph at more than one point, then the graph is not one-to-one -one function like this. So we have more than one point, intersection point. So we have one, two, and three. So let's look at example five. Uh, determine the following functions are one-to-one -one or not by using the horizontal line test. So the first one we have fx equal to negative 2x minus 3. So this is a linear function. So to draw the linear function graph, then you have to, sub, uh, you have to uh, find two points and then you connect the two points. Okay, let's say you take x is equal to 0. So meaning that, meaning that you have to find f0. So to find f0, sorry, f0 which is equal to 2 times 0 minus 3 which is equal to negative 3. So from this you have two, uh, one point so which is 0, negative 3. And then another one, let's say you take uh, when fx equal to 0. So when fx equal to 0, then you have a 3, sorry, negative 2x minus 3 is equal to 0. Then you have x is equal to 3 over negative 2. So means you have negative 3 over 2. So you have another point here. So, which is negative 3 over 2 and 0. So, you just put the point, the two points in the, uh, on the axis. So, 0, negative 3. 0, negative 3 should be here. So, this is negative 3. And this is the point of 0, negative 3. Another point is negative 3 over 2, 0. So, let's say here is the negative 3 over 2. So this one, this will be the point, and then you just, uh, you just uh, connect the two, the two points, then you have the graph. Okay, now, so you want to use horizontal line test. Okay, let me change the color of the pen. Okay, so let's say I draw horizontal line. So from here, you see that it cuts at only one point. So what can you say about this function? So therefore, you can say that fx is one to one function. Okay, next we have fx equal to negative x squared plus 16. So this is quadratic function. So for quadratic function, so at least you must have Three points to 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 get the graph. Okay, let's say okay. So you can find the intercept x intercept first. So when f x equal to zero. So when f x equal to zero, then you have negative x squared plus sixteen is equal to zero. So from here you will get x squared is equal to 16. So from here you can get x is equal to plus minus 4. So there are two points here. You get two points which is 4, 0. And another one is negative 4, 0. Okay, so and then from this function you know that 
the y intercept should be equal to 16. So you have y intercept, so you have 16, sorry, so you have 0, 16. Okay, so now you can sketch the graph. Okay, so roughly. So this is negative 4, here is negative 4, here is 4, and here is 16. So if you sketch, okay, let me change the color of the pen. <coughs> okay, when you sketch the horizontal line, then, so how many points of intersection between the graph and the horizontal line? So is there are two. So since there are two points of intersection, at the by using horizontal line test then you can say that fx is not one to one function